good afternoon. I am Amini Insebi Clifford. I will be talking to some Nigerians today what they feel about the All Progressive Congress Same Faith Ticket. A lot of Nigerians have said this doesn't really matter. What matters is who is competent enough to deliver the dividends of democracy. Why some of them have kicked against the same faith ticket because they feel it does not create a balance in the system. Nigerians across the country have reacted to the Muslim Muslim ticket of the All Progressive Congress APC in 2023. Some of them said that the same faith ticket does not represent equity and fairness. So what I, what I, what I can say is this, I'm a Muslim. I don't see a Muslim Muslim ticket as welcome idea. In 2015, when Buhari went to when Buhari told Ashwaju to go and give him his running mate, he presented Oshibaju, which is a Christian. Why is he carrying Muslim Muslim tickets at this complex stage we are in this country today? See issue of kidnappers, uh, kidnapping, Boko Haram, blah blah blah. I mean Muslim, and I stand to be corrected. The people they are kidnapping most is they are Christians. Why do you want to sideline them? On the issue of the presidency, it's not a speakership, it's not a senate president. You have to balance the question. And this country, it is a problem majorly is religion. Since Alaji Bola Ahmed Tinibu announced former Governor Kashim Setima as his running mate, there have been several reactions across the party. Concerning the Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC, I think it's a prob problematic uh, decision, it's a problematic uh, choice. What happened in 1993? The scenario is completely different. Even in 1993, as good as Nigeria was, Christian Christian ticket wouldn't have worked. Let's get it straight. Christian Christian ticket wouldn't have worked, even at that time. Because the Christians were ready to make peace. So they allowed for Muslim Muslim then. So now that we have security, insecurity everywhere, we have, uh, uh, we say Fulani or whatever they call, killing people everywhere. And uh, we, they are supposed, to, they are maybe they are probably Muslims or so. And you expect that a Muslim president from the south and a Muslim president from the north, I mean, a vice president from the north, will come together. And then the Christians will fold their hands and be looking at you. They take decisions. We don't know whether it is anti Christian or whatever. It is not going to work this time. I think there is a sincere imbalance in Muslim Muslim tickets because let me use myself as a case study my biological father is a Muslim while my biological mother is a Christian so what will you say of this they are supposed to be we are supposed to have a balanced system in Nigeria and Nigeria is a known country with two mostly known religion being Islam and the Christian. So, of a sincere truth, I am not in support of the Muslim Muslim ticket. The choice has also generated outrage from some notable members of the party. Some of them have openly resigned their membership of the APC. However, a presidential candidate of the APC has insisted that his choice was for the interest of the party and will plunge the party to victory in 2023. Well, in my opinion, the Muslim Muslim ticket is dead on arrival, as uh, the former SGF rightly said. Nigeria is a multicultural, multi-ethnic, uh, multi-religious society. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand the meaning of uh, or the reason behind the Muslim Muslim So they, they can't tell us that they cannot find like uh, uh, competent Christians in the north. We have over 30 to 40 million Christians in both northwest and northeast, according to research. So from all the millions of Christians in the north, there's no one that is competent except a Muslim. And a lot of people are making it look like it's a hatred to the uh, Muslim faith or Islam. No, it's far from that.